What up? What's up, Hoshi Motioners? Check it out. It's here. Are you as excited as I am? I'm pretty damn excited. This is a 1997 Nissan Stagia RS4V. That's right. It's the RS4V. This one's got the RB25 DET engine in it, and it rips. All right, I'll confess. I'll confess. I'm a little bit biased. My first ever JDM car, the one that got me into all this, that got me into all this trouble, was a Skyline. And it has an RB25 DET in it, just like the one that's in this car. And I'm also madly, deeply, stupidly in love with wagons. You combine those two things together, and this is, this is my weakness. I fold immediately for a Stagia. There are so many good Japanese station wagons. So many good ones. We've pretty much had all of the Japanese station wagons at this point. Of course, there are some that aren't legal yet that we've definitely got our eyes on, but at this point, we've pretty much sampled all of the flavors. We've had multiple Nissan Stagias. We love them so much here at Hoshi Moshi. We've had Legnum VR4s. We've had Legacy GTs. We've had Toyota Caldinas. We even had an Avenir. That's a weird little one with an SR20 in it. But honestly, if y'all won't tell anybody, I, I like these. I like these a lot. Like I said, I really like RBs, so this is kind of, it's kind of cheating for me to not like this one the most. I don't know, I really like them. They're exciting, the stages are really exciting. The Legnums are just built better, which is, you know, a lot of people wouldn't think that about a Mitsubishi, but I'm here to just change the opinion on Mitsubishis, dude, they're built really well. The Legnums are more of a luxury sedan cruiser kind of wagon, though they make, a, <laughs> they just make tons of power, they make way more power than these. So they're more of like a up tier kind of kind of wagon. And then kind of below that you have the Legacy, which is a Subaru, so it explodes. And then the Caldina is like such a ripper. It's so much fun, but it's smaller. It's it's built a bit more like a hot hatch than it is like a full like, you know, GT wagon. And this is where the Stagia kind of does everything really well. It's built well, the interior is comfortable, it's massive. This thing is huge. It's the biggest out of all of them. But yet, it's still light enough to be really exciting. The suspension works really well on all stages, especially the RS4V, and it just kind of ticks all my boxes. But enough about talking about stages in general, let's talk about this stage. Overall, the car shows super duper well. It's really got nothing to apologize for. It's got, obviously, the, you know, the little scrapes and bumps and stuff down low on the side skirts and kind of on the edges of the bumpers. That's to be expected with a car like this. But it's very honest. It's not trying to hide anything. It's got really decent miles. Actually, I don't, how many miles does this have? So it's got 134,000 kilometers, which we just roughly translate that. And that's um, 60, that's like 20, and then you add, the, so it's like 80, 83,000 miles, something like that. Look at the website, I put the actual conversion on there. Don't trust me, I can't do math in my head. It shows super duper well. Of course, like all the cars here, we drive them, we put them through their paces, and then we fix whatever they need fixing. On this one, the engine's super healthy, really good, ready to hit the road. We went through and replaced some of the coil packs, did spark plugs, oil change, coolant flush, uh, put a new alternator on it because it was outputting a little weak. Honestly, dude, this thing's ready. <laughs> I've been driving it a lot. I would just be straight up with you guys. I've driven this thing to shows, I've driven it around, I've picked up parts in it, it's got tons of room in the back. You can haul the homies in the thing, it's awesome. I. I'm in love with these things and I definitely want to get one for myself. I really do want one for myself. I'm really going back and forth on if I need to sell one of my other cars and get one of these. I really, I really, really want one. <laughs> you never can have too many RBs is what I've always said. It was my senior quote in my yearbook. I put it on a throw pillow. I'm going to try to, try to get it in stitched on the back of the jacket. It's, it's my saying. It's my mantra. You can't have too many RBs, especially RB25s because it's the best RB. Quote me on that. Yeah, the, the trim here on the top of the roof, uh, it's got this little black vinyl coating, like a lot of trim does. It's just peeling off, but underneath it's got some, some chrome that looks halfway decent. Uh, you could strip the paint back off, or you can go in and, and coat it with some new rubber vinyl paint. Uh, that's really up to you. The wheels on the car are Work Sporbos. These are some wheels that we put on in Japan. They look really nice. They're actually really light. They are 18 by 7.5, which is a good size for this car, and they are wearing 225, 45, 18 Hankook Kinergy GT tire. So a good all seasons tire will last quite a long time. Car recently just had some sway bar, rear sway bar in links done as well. Getting to like bring this thing over, put some wheels on it, work on it. Oh, it's a dream come true, man, seriously. It's all original, which is crazy because every single one of these cars I see in Japan has like that purple brid. I don't even know what you, it was like a Zeta. It's that purple brid with the, with the, 
checkered kind of insert. I think every single one has it at this point. I think they had a sale in an up garage and everybody went and bought purple brids for their for their Stagia. But this one's all original and the seats uh, are, are super tight. The foam is good. Once again, just owing to that, that 83,000 miles or whatever the math I did in my head. Look at the website, I don't remember. But it's all very original. Like I said, I've been driving this car and it's great. I've been taking it on the highway and stuff. It's been aligned, it's super smooth. It does everything I want it to. Like I said, the Stagia is the biggest out of all the JDM wagons that we've had. It's even bigger than a Legnum. Like in pictures, Legnums always look bigger. And I think right until about the rear overhang, they're about the same. And then the Stagia just has this big fat ass on the back. <laughs> Also, cool little thing that the Stagia has that none of the other cars that I've had time with have, have had, it has these little pull bars. Now, because this, this trunk wagon cargo area is so cavernous, you can't reach the back seats from back here. You'd have to walk around, grab the seats, fold them down. But on the Stagia, somebody at Nissan, I'm guessing it was Kaichi Suchia, because he makes all the big decisions there. Somebody at Nissan decided it'd be a smart idea to have these where you just pull it and then the seats fold down while you're back here and you don't have to mess with it. That's critical thinking. Exhaust is stock on this thing and judging by the amount of bobby pins that I found on the inside of the car, I would say it was owned by a lady. A lady that loved Turbo Stagia. Where are you? I would like your phone number. Please hit me up. On the underside, this thing is like brand new. Stagia's love to rust in a few weird places. And this one doesn't have any of it. Uh, they rust on the strut towers like R33s do. Uh, there's that double layered piece of metal on top of the strut tower. Water gets in there, it ingresses, and then it starts to rust. Believe me, I've seen some absolute basket case Stagia's over in Japan with uh, strut tower rust. This one's great. Not a worry on this one, super nice. They also rust under the mirrors. Not a problem. This thing looks really good. And then just the underside itself. It's a Nissan, it's in Japan, it's old, they like to rust. This one looks absolutely brand new on the underside. So clearly it led a fairly pampered life somewhere in West Japan where it was not very cold or snowy. All right, let's drive it. Oh, sweet, I left, <laughs> I left the dash lights on. Starts right up. All right, getting her out on the open road. So as you can see right there, nice clean dash. Well, it's not clean because it's pretty dusty, but clean dash in terms of there being no lights on the dash. There we go. Revs out, super clean. And like I was saying, these things are super smooth. I say super a lot. It's exceptionally smooth. There we go, new adjective. RVs are like great for daily driving. And that's why I like them so much. They're really flexible in terms of what you can do with them. This one's bone stock, like bone, bone, bone stock. Uh, stock boost, stock exhaust, stock everything. And it still runs really good for what it is. It's a two and a half liter, so it's not as punchy as like a three liter 2JZ or a VQ30 out of like a, like a SEMA, Gloria, Cedric kind of deal. Uh, but it's revy, you know, it's got a shorter stroke and it feels really peppy and exciting. And that's what I was trying to get across earlier was like, you could get a Legnum, you could get a Legacy. Uh, if you get the Legacy, it'll explode. If you get the Legnum, it's going to be a lot comfier and a lot more insulated from what's going on around you. Uh, but the Stagia just has this like sense of excitement, you know? It feels a little lighter, it feels a little sportier than the other wagons. If you guys like the video, please give it a like, give us a subscribe. Uh, we're going to try and do as many videos as we can. Uh, we're a small operation, so I'm you know, doing paperwork, I'm buying the cars, I'm working on the cars, I'm making videos, so I'll try to get as many out as I can to you guys. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a comment, and I hope you guys will check us out in future videos. Thanks. These, these are the biggest stages.